We produce hundreds of millions of tons of plastics every year. Could we reduce our oil dependency and help the environment by replacing some plastics with new, greener materials? I've got plenty of plastic. Who could pass up such a killer deal? This ingredient is potato pulp. This other one is biodegradable polymer. And this one, which is heavy, is whey protein. Whey from cheese production and other agricultural waste can be a valuable raw material for new biodegradable plastic. Developed within the European Research Project, it can be used in laminated cardboard, food packaging or even bricks. The granules are used to obtain this film, which is inserted into this part of a multi-layer material that also includes cardboard and aluminium. The natural fibres are clearly visible, but can this method be used on an industrial scale? This factory in Mimizan, France, produces paper-based laminates combining different materials. Each layer plays its part in protecting the contents of the packaging. Plastics that offer a large range of barrier properties were first produced over 50 years ago. This new material is made from waste, proteins that are byproducts of agriculture. It's sustainable and completely renewable, unlike fossil resources. And that's why we think it can be a viable alternative to plastic film in the future. With more research and development, the new bioplastic can be further improved. It can be made thinner, easier to use in production, but with the same barrier properties and mechanical strength. It's impossible to break with your hands, at least for me. There are some properties that we're still working on improving. For example, everything to do with the industrial process. Processing where we need to increase the speed of production and improve the convertibility of materials to enable them to pass through machines like this one. Another big advantage of the new bioplastic is that it simplifies recycling. Individual materials in the laminated cardboard can be separated more easily than those in normal laminates and can be recovered more efficiently, as demonstrated in this quality control lab. We've tested how simple it is to separate the layers. It's important to recover the polyethylene, the aluminium and most of all the fibres. These are very useful in producing recycled cardboard. With good mechanical properties, green origins and better recyclability, new bioplastics are destined to become part of daily life.